Taskmaster. No! Oh my god, it's another Bosch! <laughs> I really would like a cup of tea. <laughs> Welcome to Taskmaster. I'm not the Taskmaster. I'm Adam from FWCI. And this is Taskmaster Season 9, Episode 2, Butter in the Microwave. Popcorn, butter in the microwave, bit of a drizzle, a little bit of salt. Bob's your uncle. Let's go. Yum yum in the mouth, lock it in. You might be watching this on Patreon right now, in which case you're about to sit through a full-length version of this reaction. Or maybe it's just early access of the YouTube edit version. But yes, season 9 of Taskmaster and probably all the seasons moving forward will be full-length on Patreon. So it's patreon.com slash fwci. Five dollar redos a month. You get early access and you get full-length Taskmaster reactions as well, which you can watch whenever you want. Katie Wicks, Joe Brand, Dave Bedil, Gamble, and uh, Rose Matafeo. Real solid lineup for this season here. Rose Matafeo is already really impressing me, as is Joe Brand, as is uh, Ed Gamble. I, I want to see him get his buttons pushed a little bit because he seems like a very nice guy and he seems like a very joyous kind of dude. But I feel like there's a competitive edge inside him that I can't wait to see if um, the Taskmaster is able to strike that chord or not. But let's jump into the episode. This is Taskmaster Season 9. Yeah? Yeah, Season 9, Episode 2, Butter in the Microwave. Bleh. Butter in the Microwave. Hello, I'm Greg Davis. I am a leggy blonde. <laughs> it's ivory hair, thank you very much. The man who Tina Turner once described as simply the pest. <laughs> 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 and in a separate conversation, <laughs> as a complete arsehole. <laughs> Two conversations. Wow, Tina Turner, didn't realise that. I follow someone around who I think looks quite cool, and then when they throw away the receipt, I take that receipt and then I buy what they, what they bought. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're a creep, Alex. There's a, a quite cool priest. It didn't, so, it didn't have a collar. That, he might not have been a priest, but he was... <laughs> but he had mini cheddars, iced coffee and a mango. Yeah, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. What's the first category this week? Well, slow down, Mr. Keane. No, you're quite right. It's, <laughs> it's prize time. It's prize time. And this week, they're bringing in the best bag. Ooh. Yes, yes it is a good... Hmm. The best bag. Easy. Since this is hypothetical and I never have to follow through on any of my entries into the prize task, bag of money. There we go. It's got $900 e-dues in it. It's a bagpipe, but with no pipes. So it's the best bit of the bagpipe, but no chance of noise. <laughs> All right. There is definitely a positive to this bag. It's quite an, I love it, but it's quite an intense sound. It's too good. Intense. It's too good. It's too good. It's too good, it's too good. It's too good Scotland. <laughs> it's Maybe stop playing it. <laughs> I really like sour sweets, yep. and that's a bag of them. You see, it hasn't really... Yeah, that's OK. Ooh. There we go. There are some... Oh. What's with that little um, drawer underneath your mini throne? Five. Feels like you should have five. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go, Alex. Alex, 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 Alex. No, let's put a pop of in for oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> Well, <laughs> <laughs> You're struggling. Hey. Oh God! <laughs> Put them in your little drawer. <laughs> Disposal bag. Right. In the olden days, when you had your lady monthly. Oh. Squirty thing. Ugh. Why yes. is she lifting her skirt? Because she's letting some of it drain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> And it's the best bag, because I, I wrote best on it. Here it is. <laughs> nice. Five pois. Well done, Rose. You know how many social engagements I had to deny to make that bag? I don't... I, None! I don't... <laughs> <laughs> A bag that I like to call the belly bum bag. Here it is. <laughs> Ooh. 
This is from Magnus. They come in different names. <laughs> Why are you doing this, Ed? Uh, it's good if you're a nudist and you need something to keep your phone in. <laughs> <laughs> OK, I hate that. <laughs> Uh, one point, David Baddiel. What? Uh, yeah, I mean, oh, I should... Hang on. You loved giving him yeah, the sound suite. Yeah, but that's not the bag. The bag was shit. <laughs> <laughs> OK, fair call. Four points. Ooh. Yes, Katie Wicks. Is it? But you, you saw it. It had best bag written on it. OK. Rose yeah, yeah, okay. What did Katie Wicks bring in again? The bagpipe one. Oof. I don't know if I agree with all of that scoring there, but definitely Rose in the top poire. Top poire? Jesus, now I'm just saying it for no reason. Top spot. There's Alex Horn. Is he in one of the bins? Uh, correctly identify which bin Alex oh, is in. Oh, God. You may wheel one bin three metres. You may gently shake one bin. You may strike one bin with a frying pan. You may push one bin over. You may listen to one bin with a stethoscope. You may avert your eyes and drop one thing into one bin. Okay. And you may phone Alex's phone from the phone in the phone box. I'd start with commandment seven there, people. Fastest correct guess wins. If Rod Gilbert was doing this, he would just leave and come back three hours later. <laughs> First and only task to date that Alex has told me he genuinely hated. <laughs> He's in here. Oh. Oh, wow. Just like that. That's your one guess. You're done. It was a bunch of frying pans. Number one. So they struck out pretty quick and pretty easy. But did you use all of your, all of the commandments? Yeah, why didn't you knock some bins over and shit? Stupid eyes. The others had little gaps. And that one didn't. So you thought you'd outfox the whole city? <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd just... I mean, it's breathtaking use... arrogance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to my world. <laughs> Let's get this a go. Not that one. Gently shake one bin. Oh. Rose! Rose! Look! Look! <laughs> it's a secret letter there. Is there a sixth spin? Is there a sixth bin? They did that on purpose to make her say six, didn't they? <laughs> what was on that letter? Say it. It's the task. What well, the task yeah. underneath? Oh, I know, David. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. You think Sherlock Holmes has ever missed a clue that huge at the very beginning, though? Not Sherlock. No way. <laughs> Speak a bit louder. Uh, yes. I, oh, I'm losing you. I can't hear what you're oh, saying. Gone. Gone. <laughs> That's just rude. It did work. I push one bin over. <laughs> this is here. <gasps> he found it. Alex is odd. So it's an odd number. So he's in five, isn't he? I'm pretty sure. I'm guessing that means he's in an even one. Uh, I mean, in an odd one. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Smart. That's... I mean, I say that's what I would do, but to be honest, I would freak the fuck out. <laughs> I'd just like to do this as well. It's this one. <laughs> He looked like he pulled that, but damn, man. <laughs> Lovely start in life. Better than the grumpy old man smashing you over the head with a frying pan. <laughs> it's at any point you could hit him over the head with a bin. OK. A frying pan. What the hell is wrong with you, David? Everything I did, I did to bins that I thought he might be in. <laughs> uh, Ed? found me in 3 minutes 40, so he gets 5 points, David Bedell. Well done, Ed. Alright. Alright, Ed was 7. Flipping paper puzzle portrait pandemonium. Here we go. Fuck did he just say? Hi. Oh, no. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm with you. Uh, you may not remove the A1 pages from the flip chart during your drawing. The A1 pages will be laid out in the pattern shown on the front page. Oh, fuck. This portrait wins. You have 20 minutes. Your time starts now. Oh, yeah, come on, Katie, what do you got? Yeah, but why has it got different numbers on it? That's how we're going to lay it out afterwards. Seems a bit ridiculous. <laughs> He's grumpy, isn't he? <laughs> what does Greg look like? Oh, smart. Smart work, Campbell. You yeah, guys, great, thank you. I think Ed Gamble has got this in the bag. Rather more pubic than I anticipated. I'm guessing he likes a bit of Dickens. Well, you know what, Joey, she's just like, I'm just going to do a bunch of stuff that he likes and hope for the best. Good strategy, to be honest, because this looks like an absolute pain in the ass. Can we get David out of the way? We can. <laughs> <laughs> how bad is it, David? This is how it looked when we laid it out according to the grid. <laughs> and nose, some knees. <laughs> oh, how did you go, Katie? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, all right. It's a little bit there. Eyebrows, I'd And I was say. going through my David Bowie phase. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was... <laughs> Monster kind of hairline there as yeah, well. Oh, like Liza awesome. And your dropping nostril. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, Rose. Yeah, you be humble, you be humble. That looks awesome. So much hair on him. <laughs> Harry old guy, isn't he? <laughs> Lovely lines of barbed wire for her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I can show you Ed Gamble's if you like. Oh, well, yes, please. Oh, Ed, what did you do? <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> It looks like a hell spawn, some kind of ghostly child demon. <laughs> That's about right. I'm not as upset with that as I thought I'd be. <laughs> Primary school child to do the outside bits. David, why the fuck are you talking? <laughs> yeah, good point, David. Don't even try. Joe Brand's attempt. <laughs> <laughs> Chips. <laughs> Oh, you like chips. I mean, you've already won. <laughs> Headless body. I thought it was a tampon. Uh, no, that is a, uh, you genuinely said at the time, a nuclear power station. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to give Katie five points. Wow, <laughs> Rose got screwed. Justice for Matafeo. Although she has been dominating this season. First team task of the series. Oh, team task. Yeah, let's go. Who we got? I don't know. Give me Rose Matafeo and Ed Gamble on the same team. I don't know. Okay. Nice to see you. Oh, good God, it's David Baddiel. Oh, no. Oh, no. These two? Is it just going to be them two? Oh, no, it is. <laughs> Complete this adventure. Unless otherwise stated, you must stick together and only open one task when you completed the previous one. These guys, these two are going to be fucking useless. Now, either look in the toaster or go to the shed. What toaster? Could just so sit here. It's quite a nice The day. shed's by far the nearest. Yeah. And to me, I think let's go to the toaster first. Are we all together? Yeah, we're, we're all together. together. We're all, together. We're all together. All right, so shed or toaster. You have to go to either or. Find the egg in the shed, then either go to your pigeonhole or the caravan. Where is the toaster? Oh, there it is. Oh, hang on. Right, okay. So there's two. Find the egg in the shed, then go to your... Okay. This is hard to follow. Okay, so now we have to go to the shed. Now go to the shed. Okay. <laughs> okay, all right. Interesting way to start this one. Say the meaning of the word humiliante. Is that what it says? Yeah. Is that Italian? What the fuck? What is going on here? This is so hard to react to because I'm just un unsure of where the fuck it's all going. 
Make an eater sandwich. Oh, okay, bread. Oh. Cocktail sausages. I quite like that. Do you? Okay, well, do you want a sausage sandwich? So yeah, but do you there's... want to put them in the microwave for a little bit? Because they'll be nicer. I don't mind. Yeah, let's do that. Is it fastest wins? Because these guys have taken a lot of time deciding on a sandwich. There we go, that's your heart. <laughs> oh my god. Whisper three words that begin with D and end with G and then go to the living room or look under the doormat. G. No, we have to begin with D. Oh, G. G. oh sorry. <laughs> it ended with a Y as well, by the way. Docking. <laughs> Complete Alex's phrase. When you succeed, look under the doormat. The winner of Taskmaster Series 9 is... David, David Badil. Badil. <laughs> All right. I don't think it's going to be that, but... Say the word to me at any point in the last word. Demean. Well done, team. You've completed the task. Have oh, we? Okay. Is that it? That was a weird task. What the fuck was all of that? Were you, were you playing like silly old people music? <laughs> <laughs> the word humiliante means humiliating or demeaning. It begins with D, ends in G. Putting a colander on your head, we thought you might say this is quite demeaning. Oh, I'm oh, so that's what it's trying to do? OK. So I can tell you the time to beat was 36 minutes and... <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't think I realised we were doing it against the clock. <laughs> <laughs> really? I did. I softened the butter in the microwave, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, really? I did know we were doing it against the clock and I didn't give a fuck. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's exactly what I expected. Exactly what I expected. Stop. Stop it. Stop. Stop it. Thank you. Here are your adverts. All right. Fuck. I'll watch the adverts. Better not be the shitty one with the, um, the car and the drone again. God damn it. Nissan, I don't care. It's the turn of the excitable pups, Ed, Rose and Katie. Oh my god, look at them running! Right, we're going in. No. The Miliante is to hunt for eggs. No? Egg hunt? No. <laughs> she was so serious. To hunt for eggs. Humiliation. I honestly nearly said right. that! Okay. Nope, not quite. Degrading, isn't it? You must find and hold another egg. Now go to the caravan. There's one. There's two there, there's one there. There's two. So there's a blue one over there. Ooh. All right, this is getting quite complex. The bread bin's here. Chop the banana. I put the butter on the bread. Do you take it? Ugh, banana. Blech. Together and only open one task when you've completed the previous one. Wait. We've already got two. There's an egg eggs. right there. Pigeonhole. Let's go pigeonhole. You must split up. Well, I'm not going what? to the What? Hang on. Are Dave and Joe going to win this? Creation. Uh, Making it a sandwich. The whole team. Blah blah blah. blah. <laughs> oh no. Driving. Talking. <laughs> Check the um. Ed, what are you doing? Oh, bench! Bench! Da, 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 da. I thought it was just the one person goes to the bench. You must give Alex a kiss on the forehead, then look in the other jar. Is that the whole thing? <laughs> Demeaning. Thank you guys. Are we done? Yeah. Oh, wow. Was that like three hours? It wasn't three hours, otherwise you lost. Fwix. What's wrong with you guys? You're not fancy kicking back and enjoying a sandwich properly? <laughs> <laughs> the sandwich was delicious, actually. We had a lovely time with that one. So I'm starting to think that, strangely, we might be in with a chance. Uh, you might be right there, buddy. You guys walked 131 metres. <laughs> this team walked 665 metres. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And this is what it looked like. So we've got Ed, Katie and Rose on the left. <laughs> <laughs> David J. It took 36 minutes and 26 seconds. Yep. The others took 29 minutes. Oh, they still won. Holy shit. Five points. <laughs> Thank, you. Okay. Thank you. And I'll give the, the cheese sandwich gobbling old people three. <laughs> Well, the gobblers are now uh, tailing off at the bottom. <laughs> the gobblers, that what we're calling them? Right, Ed, where's Rose? 13, ugh. <laughs> Joe Brown's going to read this one. Good. No rush. 
<laughs> Make a lovely little ball arrangement. You have a hundred seconds. <sighs> okay. I don't know what you're cheering about. Yeah, I reckon. Like, it's just something that just looks aesthetically pleasant. <laughs> she just launched that into the crowd. Okay, please. Feisty. <laughs> Ambassador. With these plastic balls, you are really spoiling us. Lovely. <laughs> okay. And now the second part of the task, what is it? I'm surprised by how funny I find David's glasses on his hat. <laughs> <laughs> Flatten all of the yellow balls. Oh, you motherfucker. No. <laughs> Throw all of the red balls into the bucket. Oh. <laughs> And turn all the blue balls into one big blue ball. That's right! Oh. Oh. Good work, Gamble. Get the audience on your side. Holy shit. <laughs> All right. Why do I feel like Joe Brand won this one? But, Gamble, you got the episode, though, for sure. I was mainly uh, on David Watch, who was getting very close to the edge of the stage. Yeah. I was prepared to die for Taskmaster. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work. You came last. I <laughs> last. Damn. Joe was a runaway winner and pretty much nailed it. Pretty much got every single thing right except for the one. Yeah. Hers were um, very easily laid out. She would have been able to remember exactly where they were. A first-time winner who is Mr. Ed Gamble. Gamby, well done. I'm just going to call him Remy, for those that know Gambit from the X-Men. I still don't know what the deal with that bag is. <laughs> Alright, that was a very fun episode. The team task was pretty good, but let's just quickly run through them. The uh, best bag task, very fun, very um, just silly and something that you can really do a lot of different stuff with. I liked the bin task, that reminded me of the Satsuma and a sock one from season 7, but uh, I'm surprised that Rose didn't pick up the letter and read it. I mean, it didn't give away too much, uh, but I want Rose to win the whole season. She's my, uh, she's my pick, but uh, I think Ed did pretty well in that one, didn't he? I really enjoyed the one where they had to draw the, uh, the what do you call it? The portrait of the Taskmaster using the flip pattern that we're gonna like then arrange it in all different ways. I think Rose got really screwed on that one, to be completely honest. I thought she did the best by far to be like, well, well, Katie's was pretty good as well, but Rose was also up there. That team task was so weird, but I get it now. Like, if any of them said the word degrading, oh, whisper words that start with D and end with G, of course. Um, that would have been a great result if one of them accidentally did it. But they both just went through the uh, <laughs> the whole process. <laughs> Dave Bedil and Joe Brand, I'm very excited to see what they can do as a team. And the last one with the, uh, the, the Play-Doh balls was very fun as well. Like I say, I love the way they take these simple things, put people under pressure, the people that have a personality, and just hilarity ensues. It's, it's the perfect, like, formula but it's amazing that this show doesn't always translate to other countries like the Australian Taskmaster yeah it's okay I really I don't know if it's like a network thing I just wish they would let Tom Gleason really rip into the contestants a lot more because he seemed very reserved in that but I can watch Taskmaster all day long and I hope you've been enjoying my Taskmaster reactions if you did watch the full length version on Patreon thank you very much for the support if you didn't patreon.com slash fwci is where you can get it for five dollar redos a month so one month I do like two episodes a week that's that's a lot that's give it a try one month five dollar redos see what you think don't forget to subscribe on YouTube as well. And as always, everyone, be well, stay safe, look after your friends. See you in the next video. Peace. He's the taskmaster, beating my heart faster. Took it with the either, with the either, we here. He's the taskmaster, beating my heart faster. With the, with the either, with the either, we here.